Peggy 3. Starting a lap at Imola is really important to tackle the final chicane properly and not overdo it and kill your speed onto the straight before you start. Now over the start finish line, pit buildings on the right hand side, the track curves to the left but bring the car to the right hand side for Tamburello corner coming up. Then feed the car to the left hand side, then the right, clipping the curves on each before the track opens up around turn three and onto the next straight. Feed the car into the left-hand corner there of Villeneuve Chicane, slowing it down around the right, and then back on the power again, up the hill towards Tosa Corner. Really hard to keep the car on apex through here as the track drops away on the right-hand side and the camera takes the rear of the car away from you and increasing wheel spin as well. The track continues to climb now on the run-up towards Piratella, a nice left-hand and medium-speed corner. Use all the track on the exit before the track plummets back down the hill towards Aquaminerali. A nice double right-hander, slow it down and feed the car over the right-hand curb. Not too much of the left-hand curb though, because that's going to kill your speed onto the next straight and towards a really tricky chicane here at Veriante Alta. Make sure you take as much curb as you can on the right than the left, but go easy on the exit curb because again, you need the speed on this next straight coming up towards a brilliant part of the track, the double left-hander of the Rivazza curves, break in a nice straight line and feed the car in. Not too much on the exit before getting back on the power around that second of the two curves and back onto that final stretch round the right-hand curve before you attack that final chicane once more for the second time. Left, then right, feed the car over the curves and again on the exit curve for good measure and that's an end to a lap in Imola.